We start off the show today at the village in the town of Apple Valley between the roads of Central and Navajo Road. Heading on the freeway going north on the 15, driving through the historic Route 66 in downtown Victorville, our journey takes us past Stoddard Wells Road, passing the Rocky Hills and over to the town of Apple Valley. We pass the historic Hilltop House as well as the historic Apple Valley Inn finally making our way to the village in Apple Valley. Okay guys, out and about like I usually am. Chris Pulp, we're in your town. You know where we're at today. We are at the village in the town of Apple Valley. I've heard a lot about it. Always, you know, have heard this or that, but it's time to come out and check out this place and find out what's going on in the village. There's a lot of places out here. If you come out on your weekend to come and see, such as the vintage gypsies that we're going to check out today along with consign and design antique places so we're going to start off this morning with consign and design so let's go check it out hey meeting up with these two guys was a great thing bill a native californian raised in riverside and brady out of utah was in the military and served at george air force base Coming together to do something they love, they opened up Select, Consign and Design, an antique store with a twist. Wow, walking into Select, Consign and Design was like walking into memory lane. Antiques, China of course, but check out all the stuff they have here for you to come and look at. Okay, we're in here in Consign and Design over here in the village. Just like I told you guys, I wanted to come over here and talk to some of the uh, people that run businesses over here in the village and one of them happens to be consign and design and the owners are right here with me Bill and Brady right here and we're gonna be talking with them hey guys how did this come about this something you guys said hey let's go out to the village and, and no, you know no, no. get a business going antiques too at that actually so. we, we ate at Molly's a lot and we looked over one day and saw this little suite on the end where vintage gypsies is right now it was empty and we said, you know, we've got storage in this full of stuff. That would be something fun, because he had just retired from work down the hill. And so, what, two weeks later, we were cleaning it up and moving yeah. stuff in. And what, got, what got you into? I've been collecting stuff for years, like the Fostoria American glassware pattern I've been collecting right. for almost 40 years. I ended up with so much of it that I had to do something with it, so we decided to put it on sale. You know, wow. put it on display and put it on Did sale. you start off like at home, like a home business or something, or on no. the internet, web page? No, we started off on that end suite yeah, down sweet. here where Vintage Gypsies is now, about right. three years ago. Um, outgrew that, moved into this suite, and then right. when the owners retired in the center suite, we took over that suite. Um, so now uh, we're just... Now here you are. Here we are, yes. So good, what? Two, three years now? About three years total. Three years, yeah, three years total. altogether. So what would you say your forte, let's say, in collecting stuff? Is it all kinds from 1800s no, to, no. Uh, well, chandeliers, I see a lot of chandeliers. And our, our motto, our, our, I guess you'd call it a motto, is an unusual assortment of eclectic treasures. There's something of everything. There's everything from car models to crystal right. chandeliers to things that you don't see everywhere. A little because different, something with a twist. Yeah. How about people. like with the story behind it, like that yeah, saddle that yeah. we were talking yeah, about earlier? Really. Well, uh -huh. so, I mean, you can go to an antique store and you're going to see the same thing in every one of them. Right. We wanted it to be different. We have a Roy Rogers you guys rifle swing down this here. Way? That, uh, I this think you could stay right there. And signed by this, Rodney. Signed by everybody, go. even Trigger. Yet yeah, signed by Roy Rogers and his son Dusty and Trigger. Never been fired or pumped up. Comes with the original shipping carton, the bandana, it, all the directions, everything that you would have got if you'd ordered it in in wow. 1960. Directly from the TV show. 
All my life I wanted one of these rifles so right. bad, and now I have one and I can't play with it. I can't, and, uh, uh, not the Red Ryder, right? The, no, yeah, this is yeah, Roy Rogers though. Yeah, it's the Roy Rogers Roy version Rogers and it's and it signed and it's serial numbered and everything is right there. Don't go away folks, because when we come back, we're going to talk to Bill about some glass that glows with black light and talk to a man about a horse. Always out and about, still in the town of Apple Valley off the village area out here. I love finding mom and pop places such as this. Zacatecana Marina Meat Market. When you're out and about, don't forget to stop at these places because the food here, muy bueno. Walking into the store, a classic older market, a lot of candy, chips, Cokes and other things to buy. So when you're out and about, just like I was saying out there, come on in here, check out the little store. Really nice, and it's also a meat market, but the best thing about this place is the food. Come on down here. Okay, so when you when you come in here, you come to the back here, and you could see, Rodney, if you can kind of pan over here and look, the meat market right here, the, and the cheese and the stuff they have here, that's okay, we'll take a look at that in a minute. But here you come and place your order, get your uh, tacos, your tortas. Hey, do you guys do you guys do tamales here too? You want uh, people order? When people order yeah, tamales, order. you can. And uh, New Year and Christmas, uh -huh. every day I have. Melanesa, sirloin steak, tripe for menudo, pata de res, beef feet, and don't forget those delicious plates, burritos, enchiladas, and carne asada tacos. Okay, today, like I said, when we're out there, come on in here, try this food. These little out of the way places, these marketplaces, really excellent, excellent, excellent food. And I have here today, Rafi. Rafaela Manso. Okay, tell us what we have here. Uh, uh, right here I have a wet burrito. This carne asada wet burrito. This guy has uh, two tacos with rice and beans. Oh, well, check this out, guys. You need to see this. I'm gonna bring it up to you. Look at that. Oh, the beans going, kind of going. Let me get you like this. Yeah. Okay. Here. And this is this three enchiladas. Any kind where you want, uh, with rice and beans and a little salad. Mm -hmm. And this kind yes. is uh, yeah. beef birria with rice and beans and your tortillas where you want, or if you want bread or anything where you want. And also, yes, I love this. I know I'm going to bring it up again, guys, but take a look at this. This makes you hungry right now, I'm telling you. So when you come out here, take a look at the menu they have here, guys. There's plenty of stuff that you can order here. Can you call it in? Yeah. Can you call in orders and, you and call in orders. Uh -huh. Make your back orders over here. here? So tell us a little bit information, how to get here okay. and the number here. If you guys want more information, you uh, call or come at this 21937 Highway 18 or make your orders at uh, 760 uh, 2405029. Ah, Thank you. Don't forget the number. Forget the number. <laughs> you open again? I'm open Sunday, the 8 to 6, and Monday, 8 to 8, and Saturday, 8 to 8. Hey, take, guys. So when you're out in the town of Apple Valley, out here toward the village, come and visit these guys. And the name of the place is? Uh, Zacatecana Morena Mexican Meal Market. Thumbs up, guys. Be back in a few. Thank you. Checking out select consign and design, checking out the china and antiques, as well as picture frames, mirrors, and all kinds of things. Back to Bill and Brady. This, out, Rodney. this glass here is uh, was made in the 30s and 40s, and it actually glows under fluorescent light. Uh, normal glass doesn't do anything strange, but if you hit this with a fluorescent light, it actually lights up because it's got uranium oxide in it. Um, right. And it really makes a beautiful display if you just put a black light. We've got a couple of black lights in there just to light that up. Um, but I just love this stuff because I had no clue that this existed until we opened the store. That, wow. that you could buy plates that had uranium oxide. They won't cause you to get any kind of uh, sickness or anything because it's just a, um, an oxide of uranium. 
but right. it lights up under fluorescent light. We also sell these little fluorescent flashlights that you can use to to check and see if your items are. That is pretty nice. Vaseline glass. Right. You got to tell me a little bit about this horse saddle here because we saw it and my <laughs> granddaughter would probably love it. Yeah, the, the, this <laughs> your is daughter fun. would love this too. So come on, horsey. Uh huh. There, oh, a child dogs. horse, a child saddle, uh, or a small adult saddle. And uh, here in Apple Valley, yeah. we figured uh, you got to have a lot of Western Seven. stuff. So. Yes, most and, definitely. Yeah. And we, if we come over here to the second room that you have over so here. If you, if you want to take this chair home, take it home, put it in your living room. You can enjoy it right away. You don't have to worry about fixing the leg on the bottom of so it or anything like that. it's all ready to go. That. When yeah. you're, it's, you come and buy this, you're... Ready yeah. to go, folks. Ready to go. And if you look over here, they also have some, what, some hutches? Hutches? Is that what they're called? What is this guy over here? Yeah, we've got, uh, you know, this is like a, a desk hutch set, okay. um, a bedroom set. with uh, You can buy the whole set or individual pieces if you just want right. the corner unit or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, we figure if we've got them in here, we... A lot of mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we watch the reflection there. Yeah, so, really. But we got all these hutches that we have here, and of course over here on this side. Wow, that is nice. And all this is ready to go. Do you guys ever get this stuff and then start refurbishing or refinishing them, or um, we just basically clean them here. up? Just yeah, the, that's what that's what Brady does. I stay inside where it's nice and cool, and he goes out and works the in sales. the heat. And He's uh, the workhorse <laughs> over there, okay. Uh-huh, he does. So you, you clean them up and get them all ready for, for selling here. I want people to take it home and it's ready for them. I don't, you know, they don't have Just to like what you were anything. saying with the, you know, the chairs and stuff. So if yeah. you come out here, folks, these things are ready to go. So when you're ready to pick them up, come over here, take a look at these things here at Consign and Design. Right? Consign and design. Select, consign select. and design. See, we're very selective something. about what we consign. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to take a little break right now. But when we come back, we'll be heading out there toward the vintage gypsy. So stay tuned, folks. Hey, it's Chris Paul for In Your Town. You know what? You know what my show is about. It's about people, places, and things, especially food. But this time, this season, I'm adding a new part to it, the shopping part of it. I've been doing Chris Paul for a while now, and being out and about and finding places to go, I have met a lot of entrepreneurs, people who do art, crafts, painting, even people who do services like for weddings and catering. I tell you what, all these people need to get the word out, and sure they do on some point, but you know what? What I'm here to say is you can do it on my show. Get in touch with me, PM me on Facebook, and let me tell me something that you have or a product that you make, not anything like a worn out carburetor, <laughs> but we're talking nice craft stuff. Give me a holler, and I'll put it on the shopping part of In Your Town. I'm waiting to hear from you. This is Chris Paul for In Your Town. It was time to go meet the owner of Vintage Gypsies. A woman being named Kevin was a little unusual, but the way her shop is set up, there's nothing unusual about Kevin, and the shop is just a touch of class. Hi, come on in. Welcome to Vintage Gypsies. Meeting up with Kevin and talking with her earlier, I could tell she had a lot of passion for what she was doing. The store used to be located at the Apple Valley Inn in 2011. After a couple of years, the original owner moved it to the village. In her words, she has been a junker, picker, antique dealer for about five years. And by 2015, she was offered the shop and never looked back. Things. Uh, I have beautiful uh, Middle Eastern rugs that are very nice and high end. Um, over here. <laughs> over here, Rodney, if you come over here. This is an amazing little piece because this was a case that was literally taken out of the dirt in uh, Oral Grand. And somebody brought it to me and they said, Would you be interested? And I'm looking at this. This is early. This is 1920s, 1930s. 
What a beautiful cabinet. Just cleaned it up, oh, added yeah. a little bit of oil to the wood. Boom, it pops to life. It does. So I think this do shop- Do you do a lot of, when you get something like this, do you do a lot of, uh, I don't know, restoration? Or do you just try to keep it cleaned up and you know, do little yeah. odds and ends to it to get it going back up and try to keep it, keeping it in the original state? In yes. Way. I've learned actually through our local antique dealers and through Tony the Wood Doctor who's an uh, antique wood specialist, I've, I've gotten a lot more respect for leaving wood wood, whereas yes. it's, it's a real popular trend and I'll say I, I was ready to jump in on it to paint everything. But when you start to learn your woods and you, you see how nice they are and how right. warm it is, it's great to learn that and to progress and to have natural well, of course, wood the, for the antique person that's coming out they're going to want hey i want the original thing i don't yeah. want a little touch up here it's okay but trying to keep yeah. it the 10 original. to 19 30 40. hey your wife would like this for you rodney <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get out of hand rodney Come darla to the patio messy from the storm. The storms have been doing yeah, the patio. This wind. this wind is crazy. So if stuff looks a little disheveled, it's just we got to roll with nature here. But these are just wonderful old pieces. These are wagons that are probably 1930, 1940s. What were the wagons, Rodney? You remember the red wagon? Oh, yeah. You, the flyer? What was that? The, the radio remember? flyer. The radio flyer. Yeah. You go. I yeah. always have a radio flyer somewhere here. Yeah. And I like so this. So you can radio. find your old farm equipment. You can find your wonderful old rusty. I mean, right. us junkers, we love rust. Even, you know, even funny little things like... Oh, I know it's so heavy, but funny little, you know, who even notices this, but it's fabulous. It's wonderful, it's rusty, it's heavy, and it's really just, uh, I sell plants and try to do lovely garden things, and well, you got a lot a of nice stuff here, it's, it's really nice, I like what you're doing out Thank here. Thank you. And also keeping the vintage, the quality of it when you're picking it up. Yeah. That's what I think people yeah. really love that stuff. So, so we've we'll, got your high end and we've, we're funky. You know, this shop's known as the kind of eclectic, funky, hippie, vintage whatever. Vintage gypsies. That's right. Don't forget that, folks. That's we're right. going to take a break gypsies. right now and we'll be back. Don't forget, we'll be going to s and Bowen Cutlery, or that was Saddle Tree. He does wonderful work awesome. with leather. So we'll be right back. <laughs> Shopping with Chris Paul filmed at the beautiful Holiday Inn in Victorville. All right, we're back over here. Hey, right now we're gonna finish talking with Kevin over here. So you've got a great place here. Thank you. Thank you. Tell people location here and an address and a phone number to get yeah. in contact with you. Excellent, we're at 21880 Highway 18, Apple Valley. And the village in the this village. This is the, the village. village. We are right in the heart of the village of Apple Valley, California. Okay. And, and we also have a friend of Kevin's here. I got her card, Roxy Gantz. Yes. All right. Roxy is in charge Chris. of paint parties, junkies, right? Let's go. Junkie.com. I need glasses. So yeah, I got to go like this. Paint parties, parties. plural, junkie.com. Junkie.com. Tell us a little about what you do. What I do is I um, teach people to paint their dreams. We get together and we sip some wine or alcohol or our favorite beverage and we get together and paint a painting and we have a blast. We do it now, all. Okay. Do you have them drink first before they paint? So the Hopefully. Painting, yeah, Hopefully. so the painting comes out good, folks. Hopefully, that's because what you people gotta do. don't know how to shit off their brains. <laughs> and so, but what, what, they have to unwind. Exactly. This, this is a place to call her to do this, guys. You'll right. really like it. We, I guarantee you all to blast, and you'll do a masterpiece. I tend to try to bring out the, uh, the masterpiece in people mm -hmm. and the artists and people who've never painted before. I love virgin painters. They're awesome. Okay. And we have a lot of fun. We do step-by-step. -step. We do all the instructions you I'm need. I'm just more better numbers by painting yeah we can do that too <laughs> so, sometimes we actually prep the canvas so they just oh, kind of yeah. do that and yeah. we give them different skills and how to use a brush so do you stuff. have like a model there or something you'll put something up maybe just like an antique like this and say okay guys go to town or do you just say hey 
We all do the same. We all do the same painting, and sometimes I sketch it on for them ahead of oh, time. Okay. Or we do it easy enough where they can the non-artists can do so it. So these places that you go to, you told me that you were at the recently, wine cellar. The wine cellar. The Cadillac. Wendy, hi, Wendy. The Cadillac Ranch. Cadillac Ranch, also. Off, Allison, how are you? Off the grid. Off the grid. I still need to head to off the grid. So right. what do you do? You go up. You set these parties for people. They call you. Say, hey, we'll be there at what six o'clock, and mm -hmm. you already put all your easels and stuff all and together. And all the paintbrushes, and then, then I stand up front and I, I paint the painting. I come around and help them. Okay. And they're all. It, mostly, it's a bunch of girlfriends getting together, laughing their butts off. I get a lot of couples on dates, mm -hmm. and that's a lot of fun. It breaks. Get the them ice. on their first date. Because that would be good. The problem with America is we socialize <laughs> over food, and right. this is something to socialize that that brings us out of our comfort zone. And, it, and it, I've never seen people not have a total blast right. where they're not laughing their butts off. And then they come home with a masterpiece. Well, let's get a little info on you. Tell the people here hey, how they can get in contact with you and make an appointment with you. You can get, uh, on t you can get in touch with me on Facebook at Paint, Paint Parties Junkies or Paint Therapy. Or you can also call me at 413-695-9930. Okay. Or you can go to my website, paintpartiesjunkie.com. Okay. You guys heard it here first. Don't forget, I want to call it paintpartiesjunkie.com. Yes. Okay, with Roxy Gantz. Thank you so Deep much, Chris. Gantz. Chris Thank Rocks. You, Chris. <laughs> okay, well, we also have Vintage Gypsy Kevin here. I don't even want a last name because Kevin, that just says it all right there. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, that's we're all we be, need to know. <laughs> we're taking off now, and just like I told you, we're going to go see Bye, SW everybody. Bowen. And buy all your gifts here. Oh, yes. Keep we it got local, something folks. for everyone. Yes. S.W. Bowen and his uh, saddle, saddlery? Yes. I, yeah, I want to say saddlery. Awesome. Yeah. Great work with leather, and we're going to yeah. be checking them out soon. So we'll talk to you guys Bye, everybody. in just a few minutes. We'll Come be to Apple Valley Village. <laughs>
and select consign and design I almost forgot that Scotty not this time select consign and design and then we went and checked out vintage gypsies where Kevin's at great store and also Roxy with her party junkies I think it's party junkies that you can get some paint stuff some paint parties going but I wanted to show you guys this this guy SW and I want to get this right Bowen SW Bowen he has a saddle shop custom saddles chaps belts and repairs here in the village across the way from hit plumbing which i didn't even know was here to recently and i thought you know you guys would probably like to take a look at this too so why don't we just go take a look at his shop walking into steven's workshop was just one big wow factor looking around at the saddles chaps and belts and what he has here and his quality work ethics really shows up in all the work that he does we're over here just like I was telling you. You have to come out here to the village, check it out, because there's always a lot of places to go to, such as SW Bowen Saddlery. I've been working on that saddlery. I've been messing it up all day. Come over here and check it out. This is Mr. Steven, and I love, love his work. I'm going to get a little information about how did you start here? What brought you, you know, doing this kind of work? Well, I grew up on a ranch. Uh, we always did our own uh, repair work, right. especially on rainy days. There wasn't much to do, so we'd go in the tack room and we'd bring out all the saddles and we'd go to saddle soap in them, all the gear. So mostly and, uh, saddles at first and then, yeah. then yeah. from there you just branch out like belts, purses right. and different right. things. You just then, got uh, an idea to keep on... When I was in high school, I picked up a Tandy kit, you know, because oh, that was okay. the only things around that had the tools. and uh, So I uh, started working off of it and uh, doing belts, you know, purses and that. Of course, every girlfriend wants a purse, so purse. you yeah. got to make that for them. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day just passed, yes. but hey, you know, they're good for any time. But what got you started? I mean, you started off as a young man doing this and just kind of like messed with it a little bit. Yeah, and then, and then I, uh, I was just fascinated with the tooling. Okay. And so you got to put some tooling on something. So, right, uh, exactly. So I decided to go Tell into Tell me a little uh, about this saddle, saddle you got well, right here. This saddle here is what I, is on what we call a weight tree. Right. Um, this uh, cliff weight is where is the individual designed so these uh, lighter tree. weight than a typical right. weight. This saddle up there in the, the front is a typical weight. Which is that to your left right, right there? Or leather involved in that than, than the ladies weight. Wow. And so I tried to shave some areas down to make it a little lighter for the woman. So this oh, is, I really love that work, that intricate work and detail that you put into all your work here. You can just tell right off the bat. That's Thank you. what really impressed me when I first came in here and oh, met good, you. Good. And what else I see that we have also the handbags. Yes, and one was behind that was one there. We were looking at earlier. Right. I'll bring it over here. I know you still look at this. On right now. Is that not beautiful? Yeah. Look at that. Initials right there. Right. And there'll be a silver tip. And the silver tip is going to go on the bottom, on the bottom of the and belt the buckle belt. there. But as, as you can see, look at this work that this gentleman does. You the detail that he goes into. Any of you guys have horses or go in tournaments, you got to come here and let Stephen do some work for you because this is just beautiful. And I get my lace from uh, Australia. That's Kane's These really. machines here, so. Well, this is my workhorse right here. Uh, this is Nadler, made over in Germany. Okay. It's one of the best machines out there. It's a single needle machine. And uh, this is what it'll do. That's four pieces of leather stitched together. And as you can see, that pulls down a nice tight stitch on it, front and back. Wow. And I've had this machine probably 18, 20 years, and it, it never and had It just keeps on pounding away, yeah. huh? It does. And we want to talk a little about this. Look at this saddle right here. This is beautiful work. This is the, uh, a Wade saddle. Mm -hmm. uh, I had the fortunate uh, opportunity of meeting Cliff Wade. Mm -hmm. He used to be uh, pole ponies down from uh, Oregon. These are what we call chinks. They only go halfway down the leg. Oh, okay. And the purpose for that is when we're branding, we're usually either in the saddle or down on the ground. Right. If you're right. on the ground, you, uh, you're down on your knees, castrate, vaccinate, whatever. Yeah. And you're always stepping on your shafts. So you see if that? the carols it's in California pretty... cut them off shorter, and they call them chinks or chinkaderas. Chinkaderas. Yeah. Wow. So that's uh, and they're these are very very popular. I hey, feel if probably. you ever need repair for saddles, and what do we call these again? The uh, the ship the chinks. The chinks right here, stuff like this. You're an avid uh, rider, and you need this stuff done. You need leather work, saddlery. Is that the way we pronounce it? Saddlery. I keep on saddlery. Yes. Sure. Uh, and come and see 
SW Bowen. This guy knows what he's doing when it comes to this work and the, the machines he has here. He can get the job done. And if not, you could always take it over here to the feed place feed over store, here. Yeah. And the what's the guy's feed? name? The Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Desert Ryan. Drop it off and then you come back over here. I'll or pick it up at night, pick it up and do the repair work and drop it back over there. Give them their number, so your number one more time. My number is uh, touch with you. Area code 805. 570-6651. Good. Hey, we'll be back after these messages talking with S.W. Bowen. <laughs> Shopping with Chris Paul filmed at the beautiful Holiday Inn in Victorville. You guys can, can meet her. Roxy, come on in. Chris, I want to ask you a question. Um, <laughs> I want to ask you a question. How many times do you go to the high desert? <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch yourself. Watch yourself. You're supposed to be watching me, Rodney. I was. I was watching you right into it. Nope. <laughs> the door is locked. The other way. The other way, guys. <laughs> yeah, all right. Tell me when you're ready, Rodney. Come on, Rodney. <laughs> Be ready. It's, he seems so nice. <laughs> That's the real Chris. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Rodney. All right. Sit, Mr. Cuddles. Sit. <laughs>